So the interval generator is right here, and it's not a very complex concept. It's really straightforward. Um, if you have a MIDI keyboard connected to this synthesizer, as I currently do, and you have the patternator going, which I'll turn on right now, you can control with a MIDI keyboard uh, the pitches that are being created. So I'll just play some notes on the keyboard and you'll hear it. So I'm just bouncing around the keyboard playing notes. So you can control it via a MIDI keyboard, but if you didn't have a MIDI keyboard connected to it, you could also control it. And that's using the interval generator. There are six different buttons where you can set a CV value, a uh, pitch related value for each button. Uh, so we have a switch here that it has, uh, it's a rocker switch. Right now it's in the center position, which is off. If you turn it to all, all of the oscillators will be affected by this generator. You heard a pitch change because it switched from what the MIDI note was telling it to play to what this uh, value is telling it to play. So then uh, you can set each of these knobs to a different value and have a different note. Or different voltage note base, I guess you'd call it. There's probably something, yeah. Anyway, so listen. And you can just uh, have these set to specific intervals, specific notes, whatever you want. So it allows you to basically play the patternator like a, a keyboard if you don't have a keyboard attached. If you remember the first video I made for the fuse box, you can actually see me doing this during the quote chorus unquote of the theme song. another setting which is VCOs 1 and 2 and when you have it set to VCOs 1 and 2 it only affects VCOs 1 and 2 and VCO 3 is not affected and the benefit to that is if you have VCO 3 set to be an LFO for something then the patternator does not force it to uh, the LFO speed to change along with the frequencies of the two oscillators that you're using so your LFO your LFO2, which is VCO3, can remain unaffected by the patternator uh, if you need that to be happening. You can also create different chords or different sets of intervals between the uh, three oscillators where Oscillator three is set and the other two change. You can create new chords in that way by using this other setting. There we got kind of a octave going on there. Most of those are pretty horrendous sounding, but I didn't tune them so that they wouldn't be. But yeah, you have that opportunity. In this case, we're using VCO three as an oscillator. So uh, I could have theoretically set the intervals between the three oscillators to be something harmonious when each of these changes took place. But yeah, the interval generator is awesome for making the patternator play in different chords, different keys without a MIDI keyboard control. It's also really fun to push the buttons.
and you can use it in conjunction with a MIDI keyboard. So yeah, it's it's incredibly versatile. It's one of the one of the aspects that makes this such an interesting live performance tool is the ability to control notes and patterns with the patternator. And then you can control those notes in a more macro sense, in a chordal sense, using the interval generator without even having a keyboard present. And that is the benefit of the interval generator. Okay, a couple of things we haven't talked about is we do have master tune over here. So once you get the oscillators and the intervals that you want, you can tune them in a master way to whatever frequency you want. Uh, that's uh, the benefit of the master tune. And also, anytime you want to control the frequency of all three oscillators at once, you can use a global pitch CV uh, input here and adjust the amount to suit your taste. And um, of course, here is the amplifier, which we haven't really talked a lot about. And in the case of the amplifier, you make a choice of how the ampli amplifier is controlled, whether it's controlled by EG2, which it currently is, an input from an external source, or through where the amplifier is just open and on. So everything you do, is just going to be on the whole time which is really beneficial when you have like other audio sources coming through the fuse box being processed by the fuse box we have your general volume knob of course and we have a headphone jack which you can adjust the volume of lastly you have a midi to cv converter in the midst of the fuse box so as you have a midi synthesizer or controller connected to the fuse box controlling it, you can take that MIDI information, convert it to CV, and then control either your CV inputs here on the fuse box or your CV inputs on a Eurorack modular someplace else. And you have uh, a lot of possibilities here to turn into CV the pitch from the MIDI pitch a MIDI accent, the MIDI clock, if you have like a sequencer running, that's how I did the theme song to uh, the Fusebox series was I used a MIDI clock to control uh, the patternator. You have gate, of course, so every time you press a key, you can send that gate to where you need it to go, whether it's in this system or outside of it. Velocity, which is always awesome, and then CC55. So, that is, in a very, very basic sense, even with this many videos, uh, the fuse box. Of course, because it is modular, you can do a lot more than I have done. I've just given you the basics, and it's uh, your opportunity to do the experiments to see how many different ways that these modular arrangements can be used to create incredible music. And so, and also uh, applying the fuse box to a larger modular system, uh, your options are endless. But uh, even without another system, the fuse box is a very powerful synthesizer capable of a huge amount and variety of timbres as well as performance options. <laughs> <laughs>